Le docteur Heinz E. Lehmann, pionnier dans des recherches cliniques en psychiatrie, joue un rôle international de premier plan dans le domaine de la psychopharmacologie. Né en Allemagne en 1911, le docteur Lehmann est arrivé au Canada en 1937. Il passait la plupart de sa carrière à l'hôpital Douglas, qu'on nous jadis sur le nom l'hôpital Verdun protestant où il a commencé à chercher des traitements efficaces pour les nombreux malades mentaux qui y aient hospitalisés. I've had this drive and the passion almost of finding something that didn't exist, a treatment, a medical treatment for in psychiatry which didn't exist. All we had is uh, psychoanalysis, hypnosis, Uh, and in chemical things, we had sedatives, that was just about all. These people would go to the hospital then because they were not safe and they couldn't be cared for at home. And um, many of them would stay there until they were in their 60s or 70s. They wouldn't die from the disease, but uh, they couldn't be cured either. It's hard to imagine for us who came after to be so helpless and to see the, the suffering and not be able to do very much to alleviate it must have been absolutely excruciating. So he constantly looked at things. Sa première percée était en 1953, l'année où le docteur Lehmann a découvert que la drogue chlorpromazine a traité effectivement les divers états des psychotiques. We lived about a, a quarter of a mile from the hospital. We would cycle with, with, uh, with friends and there would be always some patients yelling and screaming obscenities uh, in the windows of the building of the hospital. And overnight, this stopped. This literally was the revolution. Before that, we were talking of custodial care and or psychoanalysis, essentially, were the only two treatments. And here we were, I mean, opening up a whole vista of medical, pharmacological treatment of mental illness. Almost immediately he kept on asking would anyone have something similar to chlorpromazine for depression. Et alors, en 1957, le docteur Lehmann était le premier psychiatre en Amérique du Nord à savoir discerner que la drogue imipramine était efficace dans le traitement des états dépressifs. And here, all of a sudden, Two or three of my patients, after two weeks, were symptom-free. I didn't believe it. I thought it was a fluke. It took me two years to, before I really believed there was such a thing as an antipsychotic drug. La façon du Dr. Lehmann d'intégrer les méthodes scientifiques, cliniques, diagnostiques et celles des infirmiers a inauguré une nouvelle époque en ce qui concerne les soins des malades mentaux. At that time, psychiatry in North America was very strongly dominated by psychodynamics and psychoanalysis, psychological orientation. Now, the new drugs brought back psychiatry into medicine. The whole perspective changed, not only the scientific perspective, that there was a physical basis of the physical treatment. Now, we could call it something that the public would accept. We didn't call it mental disease, they call it, uh, the public usually call it a, uh, a chemical imbalance of the brain. En reconnaissance additionnelle des accomplissements de Heinz Lehmann, on a créé trois prix de distinction nord-américaine en son honneur. He's always been a very uh, humble man, a very uh, affable man, a very uh, cultured uh, person. Uh, so he's a very great pleasure to work with. He, as a citizen in this country, has given something to the world, as a Canadian, has given something to the world, uh, has, I think, made the world a better place in terms of people suffering less. He's contributed to that significantly. I always wanted to work in psychiatry. I always wanted to work in science and research, and that's what I did.